हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम डॉक्टर सुजित चंद्रात्रेय आय एम एन इंडोक्रायनोलॉजिस्ट इंडोक्रायनोलॉजिस्ट डू ट्रीट थायरॉइड डायबिटीस ओबेसिटी अँड अदर हॉर्मोनल डिसऑर्डर्स टुडे वी विल स्पीक अबाउट हायपोथायरॉडिझम इट्स अ फेअरली कॉमन डिसीज इन दी सोसायटी वाय एस ए कॉमन बिकॉज अबाव सिक्स्टी फाय इयर्स अराउंड टेन पर्सेंट ऑफ दी पॉप्युलेशन इज अफेक्टेड बाय हायपोथायरॉडिझम अँड इन जनरल पॉप्युलेशन we see around 1 to 2% people affected with hypothyroidism just like a tape recorder after draining its battery becomes slow the voice becomes quite hoarse same way in hypothyroidism the patient loses lot of energy our patients usually feel lethargic fatigued they have lack of enthusiasm they feel like sleeping off after their work is over and usually these are the earliest initial symptoms many times many patients tend to put on weight or they have difficulty in losing the weight their rings chappals caps start becoming tighter many patients notice swelling on the face in the morning or on the feet many a times sometimes the patient's relatives family members spouses start complaining that he or she is feeling very tired nowadays she or he always sleeps doesn't do any work is becoming very lazy doesn't want to come out with me and so on and so forth and these can lead to the diagnosis in many of the cases if at all the diagnosis is not made early then few other symptoms like dry skin constipation weight gain swelling slight yellow tinge on the face called sallow look start developing in the patients many patients feel heaviness cramps and pain in the muscles many people tend to get tingling numbness pins and needle sensations in the legs and the hands many patients start feeling very heavy and it's a common complaint that the patient says that my body is filled up with iron i just can't move my limbs some people develop thick slow speech in ladies lot of the times excess menstrual bleeding that is menorrhagia is seen and sometimes we might notice slight irregularity in the period some patients only develop certain non specific complaints like infertility snoring depression lack of enthusiasm anxiety and so on and so forth as compared to adults in children it's very essential and urgent to diagnose and treat hypothyroidism early thyroid hormone is absolutely essential for the brain development for the growth and height gain of the children in children short stature could be the only symptom of hypothyroidism we can have other symptoms like reduction in the concentration early fatigability in while playing or in sports period reduction in the marks dropping of the grades in exams and other symptoms can be seen in children if a pregnant lady is hypothyroid and if we fail to treat her in time it can affect very badly the mother and the baby as well sometimes you observe hypothyroidism in newborn babies also and that is usually caused by agenesis non development of the thyroid gland or it could be because of dishormonogenesis that is defect in a pathway of production of thyroid hormones such newborn babies can not only have severe growth retardation but stand a chance of developing severe mental retardation if the diagnosis and treatment is not done urgently and in time for these reasons it's recommended by specialists that every pregnant lady every newborn and in certain disorders the patients should be screened with thyroid function tests these norms are followed in many industrialized nations quite properly but in our country we are still much behind the standard norms yet and because of this reason we miss many children with hypothyroidism they do develop mental retardation and keep on visiting one doctor after another with no proper treatment so friends how do we diagnose hypothyroidism we do a thyroid function tests from the blood 
This includes T3, T4, free T3, free T4 and TSH or varying combination of these tests. Usually the value of TSH is the most important diagnostic parameter and in a normal person this value is between 0.4 to 4 milliIU per liter. In case of primary hypothyroidism, a TSH value much higher than 4, sometimes even in hundreds, is very common to see. It's very important to remember that thyroid test is a hormonal test and we need special machinery and trained technicians and doctors to perform the test. With less than ideal settings, a substandard or a wrong report might give a wrong diagnosis to a patient for the whole life. So we have to be very very careful here. We should also remember that the so-called normal ranges of thyroid tests can be different in the neonate less than one year of age, in pregnant ladies, in elderly people, in very fat individuals and in patients with certain disorders. That's why it's very very essential that the interpretation of thyroid test should not be done on the basis of lab report by a layperson at all and advice of an endocrinologist is to be taken wherever there is any doubt. In our body, thyroid can affect other organs and other disorders can affect thyroid. So many a times other tests like kidney test, liver function test, blood sugar, serum cholesterol, bone density, etc. tests are performed in a patient with hypothyroidism. Now something about treatment of hypothyroidism. We give the hormone thyroxine which is synthetically produced orally to the patients of hypothyroidism. The speciality and uniqueness of this treatment is such that if we give the hormone in proper and correct doses and quantity, there is usually zero side effect and all the signs and symptoms of the patients do get resolved and the patient can live entirely normal life. There are many precautions to be followed while we consume thyroxine. The dose varies from person to person. Usually it changes as per the body weight, the level of activity, the season outside and so many other factors. The aim of treatment would be to get the TSH value within exact normal ranges and to treat any comorbidities other illnesses properly. Getting the TSH within normal ranges and maintaining it there forever is the most crucial step of this disorder and usually an expert is needed to perform this task. If at all we keep the TSH higher or lower than the accepted normal ranges, the illness can prove even life threatening. When we start treatment for the first time in this illness, it takes around 4 to 6 weeks for the TSH to get normalized. Once it gets normalized, the patient has to periodically visit an endocrinologist to make sure that the TSH remains within that normal specified range. Those patients who are very sensitive to the symptoms, they notice the changes in their body early, quickly, they do the reports which are advised by the doctor, they diagnose the disease early, take treatment of endocrinologist in time, take the treatment properly and follow up very regularly. Those patients are very fortunate Usually, they can lead entirely normal lives. Many research studies have suggested that such compliant patients have got similar lifespans, quality of life and morbidity as compared to normal general population. Unfortunately, a large number that is 20 to 25 percent patients in our country are usually not very compliant and they convert this easy to treat illness into a complicated one and suffer a lot from its complications and mortality. So friends, today we discussed about hypothyroidism which is a very common disorder. It's so common that it's quite possible that this disorder could be present in you yourself or in a family member or in a friend or a neighbor or so on and so forth. We have to keep a very high index of suspicion for hypothyroidism. If any 
symptom is observed which could be suggestive of thyroid disorder we should be getting the lab tests very quickly and if at all we find any abnormal values in that it's essential that we take advice of an expert as early as possible as we said earlier a properly treated patient can live a totally normal life whereas an untreated or inappropriately treated patient can even lose the life to this disease so friends this was about hypothyroidism we hope that what your information we discussed today proves helpful to you or your friends we also hope that you like our video kindly comment in the comment section below and kindly do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thanks a lot